in the last, say, five years, you can pick the time frame, but recent history, what new belief, behavior, or habit has most improved your life? I think the biggest one of all, and this was really big during writing the book, which was this you know, enormous challenge. It was like my main focus for two years over the course of the pandemic, was evening check-ins with uh, an employee of mine who also functioned a bit like a productivity coach. So every evening, I would uh, set deadlines for the next day, both input and output. So input would be how many hours of track writing I would do, where going to the bathroom did not count. <laughs> um, <laughs> a really big day would be six hours. Sometimes, very occasionally, I'd kind of get more than that. And also output goals as well. So I'd say, I will have drafted this section or these sections, or I will have done such and such. I would also normally make some other commitments as well, such as, you know, how much time do I spend looking at Reddit on my phone? <laughs> how much caffeine am I allowed to drink? Do I exercise? Things like this. And Laura um, Pomerius, who was doing it, is wonderful and the nicest person ever. And she just never beat me up about this. But I would beat myself up and it would make me, it was incredibly effective at making sure I was just like actually doing things. Because I, like many others, find writing, it's like hard. It's like hard to get motivated. It's hard to keep going. And sometimes, I don't know, I'd have gotten drunk the night before, let's say, and it was a Sunday. And normally you just, it would be a write-off for the whole day. I think like, oh no, I'd just be so embarrassing at 7 p.m. to have to tell Laura like, yeah, I didn't do any work because I got smashed. <laughs> and so instead I would feel hungover and I would just keep typing away. And that was just huge. I mean, I think it increased my productivity. I don't know. It feels like 20% or 25% or something just from these like 10 minute check-ins every day. So these were 10 minute check-ins seven days a week. What was the cadence? I was working six days a week. So, mm. but yeah, if she was doing something else at the weekend, we wouldn't check in. Right. So the format would be walk me through 10 minutes would be the first five minutes. Here's how I measure it up to what I committed and here's what I'm doing next. Exactly. So it would be a review of the day. So yeah, did I hit my input goal, my output goal? How much caffeine did I drink? Did I exercise? And then also like, was I getting any migraines or back pain, which are two kind of ongoing issues for my productivity. Next would be a discussion of what I would try to do the following day. And interestingly, you might think of a productivity coach as someone who's like, you know, really putting your like nose to the grindstone. Whereas with Laura, that's kind of the opposite. Because my problem is that I beat myself up too much. So she's like luring E.T. out of the closet with the Reese's Pieces exactly. <laughs> candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I would be like, oh, I got so little done today, so I'm going to have to just have a 12-hour day tomorrow or something. Or like, I'll work through the night or something like that. And she's like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we've tracked this before. And when you try and do this, maybe you get like an hour of extra work where you feel horrible for days afterwards. Hmm. And... So she would be very good at like countering bullshit that my brain would be saying, basically. So a couple of things. Caffeine, what were your parameters on caffeine? Like what were the limitations or minimums? I don't know how you said it on caffeine. And then how did you choose this employee specifically for this and why? So caffeine, I mean, I think a big thing is just if I drink too much, I'm likely to get a migraine. So I set my limit at three espressos worth, so about 180 milligrams of caffeine. And I'm very sensitive, so it's like... 180 is legitimate for a sensitive person. <laughs> exactly. So that's like the max that I do, whereas a double espresso is fine. But then it's like shading in between, I'll be like very cautious about. And then how did I choose this person? I think it's like a very subtle thing, the kind of rapport or personal fit you have with someone who can be a good coach, where... She kind of knew me well enough that she knew the ways to like push me around and was like, yeah, kind of the combination of like, maybe I call it friendly pushiness or something was, was like perfect. <laughs> you know, it could be very easy to go wrong on either side of that line. All right. Sounds like I need an evening check-in. All right. <laughs> who, is my, who is my victim going to be? All right. Maybe we can try it. <laughs> <laughs> Will, I know, I know, I know it's, I know it's four in the morning, but I had to call you for my evening check-in. 